and now you're Wazobia TV. Now you day and this now the Good Morning Niger Show Extra and I don't under your domot to bring you better, better information. Go ahead, help your life well, well. You know, say information like you. I could always tell you, say follow who no road for yeah. We could teach you road. Chai today, eh? the kind is to a career. Now the thing we could be say now just when uh, you talk and say you go edify your body and soul. So not be just for the edification of your body, but including your soul. I don't know you but but um make we enter inside the matter proper proper properly so um inside the show today we won't look at one thing we well, you both the call for grammar emotional intelligence eh ibi gabi now ask me the meaning after this break i they come back i go tell her now what's in emotional intelligence be and we get guests when they're inside the house we go even use our mouth kuku tell us what they mean and how we go fit get them and why it they important that's now after the break with the show back <music> Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Wazobia TV. Good morning, Niger Extra. Now, we day. So, today, we want you about emotional intelligence. What in emotional intelligence be? Why we need that? Why even be discussion in the first place? Why it can't be like, say, you go do something, you go tell you, you don't get emotional intelligence. Why? Why is they important? Why is they in the discussion or conversation at all at all? Self? That's no matter what look inside. And what be the importance? For inside our life, especially as we relate with each other, because human beings must relate with each other. Be that no matter what we want to talk about, and I don't get one of my wife been get before. I can't call him again. Say, come, 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 madam, come answer me. She carry speed. Come answer me again. That's not happiness. Daniel Eze, she be growth coach. She day with me inside the happiness. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, you now you be this. Be what thing you do yourself? <laughs> because this is a different part of your safe from what I knew the last time you came. <laughs> Eh? You fine, oh? <laughs> Try. You be wish. Sorry. Mm. You fine, like wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Well, you look so good, and Thank I like it. Everything, everything, just Thank it you. just blend. It can't shine like say they brighter than your future. No, I know say your future they bright, but you bright to away. Welcome. You. So, we could talk about in, in emotional intelligence, mm. right? Um, how you go fit explain and to person with the primary school and say mm. this that within emotional intelligence be because we need to really understand them because we too don't hear them don't hear them too much but we don't really fit understand what it mean within the emotional intelligence okay so to make mm. it very simple emotional intelligence has to do with the use of your emotions oh how will it take use your emotions, emotions such a way where we say you go to work for you, not work against you. That is how they used to use my feeling. That's in what they feel for feel my body. Feel your feelings. Mm, how they Make take sure you say that feeling where you they get. Work for me. No, they work to your disadvantage. They work to your advantage. <laughs> yeah. So that means by seeing feeling, feel work to your advantage and or your disadvantage. disadvantage. Yes. Are you if serious? You know how to use them. Are you serious? Yes. Oh wow. In fact, researchers don't talk say your your success in life is is is, is dependent eighty five percent on emotional competencies and 15% on IQ competencies. Oh, oh, talk me again. 85% is dependent of your success, is, is dependent on EQ competence, that's emotional intelligence competencies. And then only 50% is, is dependent on IQ competencies. Ooh. You don't see professor what they drink before. We don't drink, drink, drink. So they can't start and enter inside gota. You and a professor will be. Hey. What's hey, emotional intelligence, what's it long? You don't see person way fine, famous. But you meet a man, if by the time where you don't talk to you, you finish, you see that what I'm finished, you say, ah, if not only this person did this word, I know one come Come like saying, come, come. Do you understand what Chai. I'm saying? So it's very, very important because if you want to navigate life, mm. and you know, say life, no, nobody they choose how life go happen to him or what thing go happen. Then if you want to work with people, way they very important. In fact, they say in leadership, you say, if you want to achieve anything way they big for this life, you need people. Mm. So if you don't understand the ability to work with people, you are limited in the opportunities where you feel push you and how far you feel go in life. If, if you won't go, if you won't go fast, go alone. If you won't go far, go with people. So emotional intelligence, they help you. That ability to use, and you know, with emotions, now they take connect with people. Is that area of us that connects with people. And so that ability to manage our emotions and navigate them, just they move on like motor, so, stare so, around, so, like stare. So what do you mean by emotions now? Now, we could break them down, explain them one by one. If we name them, if they get name, if we name the emotions, yes. then, like so how the feelings, feelings. Going, 
feel about so things like joy. That feeling will make you get happiness. Yes. What if you make you day joyful? joyful. What if you make you, make you cry? You, yes. Anger, yeah. what if you make you vex? Mm. Sadness, what if you make you feel down? Mm. So we get different emotions for different experiences. Mm. Do you understand? And the fact, one of the ways we say person day, we say person day emotional intelligence, we say if he's Sabi name the emotion when he feel per time. Mm. So if he tell you now, I know they happy. Mm. I know they happy. And if you ask me why I know they're happy, I'll tell you, Sina, because I don't get up to $2,000 on my account. Mm. I don't get up to $10 million on my account. That make me know they're happy. That one day. Yes. Because I don't identify with him. Mm. And mm. I, apart from saying, I don't know, say I know they're happy, but if you identify with him, make me they unhappy. happy. Yes. Yeah. So that means you're aware of your feelings and waiting they trigger the kind of feelings where they get. Mm. Give us if you get vexed, I don't go know why they vexed because they irritated. They want to come with that one now. You know, you know that person know they are aware. It's lack of awareness. Is an un- and that that person will also need emotional intelligence. Yeah. So emotional intelligence classes go feel let that person understand in emotions each time. Each time. Ooh. And you know the thing we say we say emotions they influence your action. Now as you feel, now you go act. You don't get the way they feel joy and you they act in anger. Mm-mm. Is it possible? Mm-mm. So if you want change, if person want act, you go first feel the emotion, and the mm. emotion go influence the action. Uh, but not vex. You know the time we be say we the vex, but we know if you just know what's in the make us vex. Like we know they happy, mm. but we know what's in the make us no mm. happy. But we just share, no say something just day day we know they make us happy. Mm-hmm. That kind of what you go come call them. And it means say the person. Is, so you they are where say you get this feeling, but you don't know what's in the cause. Mm. But you just don't say you know the hundred percent. You know so at least mm. you know. You know they don't say what say they shall say. You just say why are you they angry? But say I'm not angry. Eh, 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 eh. Don't call my name without calling my name. <laughs> <laughs> how can you say I'm angry? Mm. How can you say I'm shouting? And the person they shout. The person so how you go talk say they shout now? Do you understand? <laughs> but the person they shout. <laughs> eh, but you know, see, some people will be say their voice tempo they high. Anytime when they emotional, either joyfully or sad, their yeah, tempo just they high. So them too need to learn how to work to reduce, uh, yes, maintain yeah, their emotional to intelligence. To understand it mm. and manage it in such a mm. way that it is working to your advantage and working to your advantage they say, we say as you they interact with people it is connecting you better with people not we say is is putting you off when yeah, you engage with people. people they run away from you ha 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 well make a let you they break them because if they want in one notice in my safe where i work on my safe for where be say i don't know whether that one get to do with emotional intelligence so i did i realized before now i realized say i, I get high pitch Mm-hmm. You could not notice, mm-hmm. say, my voice volume mm-hmm. high past your own. Mm-hmm. Eh? So um, I realize, say, Percy, if you make me vex now, and I never tell you, say, you make me vex, mm. I no go figure rest. Mm. My body go, they worry me. Mm. If I just see you, my heart go skip. Mm-hmm. Now you make me vex. Mm. But I mean, they see you, and my own heart, they skip. Mm. How come they wonder, wait, 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 wait. Why are they get sleepless nights? Over you, mm. we make me vex. Mm. Instead of you, we make me vex. Mm. We anger me. Mm. To the feel bad, say you anger me. Mm. Now, me, they feel bad anytime mm. I see you. Mm. Mm. And I realize, say, if I meet you that time with the thing, they boy me mm. for body, tell you, say, this is mm. what you do no good. Because of the emotions, voice feel begin mm. go up. Mm. And the thing feel can't spoil matter. So, now, nah, instead of us to set to you, instead of you to apologize, say, oh, sorry, oh, this matter, no, no, say, pain you like this, no vex. Because of say, voice go up, because you say, maybe I shout for you. So I can't learn them, I can't say, mm-mm. So what thing I can't begin doing now, when a um, person make me vex, I see they pay me, I just try to calm myself. Then they tell myself, it's precious, no worry. You know, they that serious, don't worry, calm down. Mm. Calm down. So I go, don't calm myself down to like one or two days or maybe a, a, a bit of a time, mm. then I can't tell you. Mm. So by that time, when I can't tell you that time, my emotions not they involved again. So mm-hmm. I don't go even feel mm-hmm. person not even feel no see me and you they even mm-hmm. talk about matter. Mm-hmm. So this kind of situation now for this your emotional intelligence class, what did they call up? Okay, so you know you Because I'm not saying supposed to get name or he, he get, get, name. get explanation. Name. Name. Mm. So and we suppose so we'll give you hundred percent as far you, you really try enter class. Hey, class. Hey, without and entering class, class I enter class. Yeah. <laughs> but I go explain them. So what okay. happen to you when you don't realize say this thing they vex you and this is how you they feel now, what do they call self awareness? Mm. You don't understand the things where they trigger you to be happy or to be upset, depending on the situation. Mm. So you don't identify, say, this thing a trigger. Mm. And some you don't also identify, say, when this trigger, they happen to you, get as you, they respond when this trigger, they happen mm. to you. And you don't tell yourself, say, this real where they respond, I know they too, they like them because this person fit misinterpret them mm. when I react that way. Now, what do they call self-awareness? Say, you don't, they study yourself. They study your emotions. They study how those emotions, they motivate you, they move you to act. And you don't they take note of them. And you know, say so you don't take note of them in one area. We feel take note of them in different areas in our lives. Now, you don't even take them to the second phase of emotion, what they call self regulation, where we say, okay, now I don't realize that this thing is a problem. How I won't take on to the manager. 
I won't mm. make this, you know, become problem. I won't make this say, I still want to be able to say, okay, this thing, you know, I know like him. Mm. But I won't say I'm in such a way where we say, the other person will understand what they try to communicate. And everybody go be, go day okay at the end of the day. So you don't say, okay, instead of make I just talk to see they do me then, we say, I go to give them one day or two days. When I don't give them one day or two days, I go don't relax, can't say, okay, this is not what they do, and they talk to the person. So what you do is say, it's called self-awareness. And then when you are self-aware, you now move to self-regulation. You say, I don't manage myself, how I take interact with people, so that my emotions don't interfere with what I want to achieve. And then you go create empathy. Because you go down there, okay, when you don't talk to the person, you go see the other person on the other side. Mm. You go hear what the person take, do what he take, do what he did. Because you know, as you get vexed, now you get your own assumption. Maybe now this is where this person said, I don't like, but when you hear person, so you don't, that regulation don't make you take an apple. So instead of make you just talk, you don't calm down. And then that calm down, you go get patience to listen. As you don't listen, you don't say, okay, this is not why this person do this thing. Understanding don't enter there. So if I get the particular way for react, you go can't change your approach. Say, okay, ah, make I not react like this, make I just say and like this. And, not. and then that's thing, what you can say, you go improve, you go come to the next level, you say, social skills. You don't improve your ability to work with people. You don't they relate to people better mm. because you're not allowing that side of you, you know, go or your emotional aspect go in a way that is not profiting you mm. or in a not supporting so that people what you want to see me somehow. Yes. Mm. But imagine if you say that person, that person will give you the next contract, we want two billion tomorrow, and you just rake, 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 rake because I'm not going to get anything to do with this person to, tomorrow. Okay, so you, opportunity so like talking about social skills now, could even look at leadership position, for instance, how it be emotional intelligence fit help to better leadership, to cause a person to be a better leader, for okay. instance. So leadership for me now two things, people and results. How do you manage people so that you could achieve what you want to achieve? So there must be a goal, there must be people. The most complex, mm. you know, so if you, have, you don't talk to business owners or even as a parent or a family or a school or anything, it's the hardest part is people. So when you have emotional intelligence, one of the first things it helps you to do is that one, it helps you to understand people better based on their personalities, their differences, their strengths and their weakness. So in order to just help you control your own emotions, it also help you understand other people. So person will get better emotional intelligence, for instance, that time why I said I do that, and the person mm -hmm. found fit to understand, say, this person, maybe she no mean to shout, she does a shout because she's emotional mm -hmm. now. I mean, another mm. day, she make we, she, mm. so maybe if I actually talk down, she will tell me, say, precious, calm down. No, say, nah, it's vexed. No worry. Later, more we'll talk about this. And then yeah. that later, the matter you no know, be the way it be. That, that person will get, eh. Yes. So a person get emotional intelligence, and so you yes. go understand not just yourself, but you go understand other, the emotions other, of, of other, other people, people. way that around you. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So then, this one now would be good. So if you say you could fit help uh, a leader to fit, Walk around the people, the people, then way they work with yes. very, very well. If I lay away, get emotional intelligence, go see beyond the behavior. We say, be in every, with every behavior, where they see, they get underlying factors and underlying layers where they trigger that behavior. So if you're able to look beyond the surface and go deeper between, you're able to connect better with people. So in many ways, you say, you're your or guy, where you say, you don't understand. For example, say, for if, if you are somewhere where they, they come for office, all of a sudden, one day, you just come and start to the shout. A play that way no the emotion tell you if your features carry query give you say query suspension go in a, especially if you behave in a way where be maybe you something happened or got you had an issue or a, a what's the word now spot something in the office or something. But if you if it's a leader that's emotional intelligent, you will say, Ah, precious come, you never behave like this before. Hmm. What is wrong? You go dig deeper. If it's to give you that punishment, if it's to give you whatever the office has agreed, mm. but you go look deeper. Because the goal no be say just say give you punishment. He want, he wants you to be effective. Mm. He wants you to still be able to. So I want to be able to get my person, my team member on the right path and be motivated to work. Mm. And so I'm going to engage to find out what exactly are the underlying issues, help solve those issues and move the team forward. Mm. And then the other things, you know, it creates openness and transparency. They produce leaders where they listen. You no know, one of the problems is they get to people say, a lot of people say, ah, our leaders know they listen, you know they hear. You go listen and listen to understand. No, we say listen to assume mm. or listen to give your own, under, your own feedback. Then you go understand people's strengths and weaknesses. You're not going to put people anywhere. You say this person, they good here, but you're not going to do good here. 
She did good with work, or she feel deliver the work, but she no go with management. It, it, it be like say go bad break, make could just go take this break, come back because this one when you talk about listening as an ability or skill, we be say leader need to know and not just listen to just hear, but listen to understand. Ah, that one deep, oh deep, we go. But make could go take this break, when we come back, you go explain further from inside okay. the matter. Stay with us, my people, with the show back. Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Good Morning Niger Show Extra Nine Your Day. We still deal with Madam Happiness, Daniel Eze. Uh, she did follow us in about emotional intelligence. And uh, you don't mention, say, one key thing where we say leader need na, um, good listening ability. I say, make the person not just listen to hear. But listen to understand. Mm. It be see the break mm. and down in different ways. I for like make you. I want me to cool down, talk more again, so that I no go rush you to stop this time. Mm? Okay. So to that listen to understand means say first of all you go remove every bias where you get about the situation and the person. Hey, whether you hate me or no because you don't like opinion, the color of you know my face. No form opinion come inside. You go mm. just open. Make I hear what this person they talk. So make I not look and like say okay because this girl from this village and this village mm. must have been lying. So make I not judge her from that mm -mm. perspective. Make mm -mm. I just listen to mm -mm. her first. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You go not go to judgment and you go to open and you go to as the person they talk you they understand. So sometimes for me when I they leave people and I they, 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 they hear maybe they did something they talk to you, they listen for different things. One now this thing an attitude problem. This thing is a knowledge gap. This thing is it a skill gap. So as I'm listening to the person and on the trying to understand that person, I'm able to pinpoint what really the issues are. It might even be that there's nothing wrong, just that probably there's something going on at home that is affecting work in the office. And so with that understanding as a leader, I'm able to effectively navigate the conversation in such a way that is a win-win, both for the individual and for the organization. Because for me, there is a work to be done. I need you to be on track to be able to do this job. And then, so by listening to you, I'm able to understand. And then it, it help decision making. You take into consideration the impact on people as you make decisions for the business, hmm. which is very important. So apart from listening skills, is there another thing we other key skills we um, key emotional, emotional intelligence skills we leaders or people generally supposed fit learn? Yes. So that so, they will use them and equip so themselves. So apart from this, it also helps with conflict resolution and management. Mm. So when there are, when there are, when there are conflicts in the, within the environment, you know how to handle it in such a way that it is, um, what's the word now, it is transparent. Everybody gets a fair hearing and everybody gets if the decision is made in the interest of everybody. It also produces, I've talked about that already, say they, they produce empathy and then they, in they improve effectiveness. For example, you understand different personalities of people and you know where you feel place people and where you know if you place people. That one day very, very important in leadership. You know what this person they bring to the table or not. Then finally, you as a leader, you go know what you feel do and what you know if you do. You go know where you need help and where you don't need help. Because mm. some leaders don't know. Some people, the leaders, they staff them strength. So if you are strong in a particular area, you don't need to build a team around your area of strength. You bring people to fill in your weaknesses and your gaps. Because they are, strength, they are stronger where you are weak. And that's why you have a team that mm. is formidable and that can deliver results. Mm. But if you're not self-aware, you don't even understand. So for example, different personalities, you get personalities where you say they're work-oriented. Meaning say they are more focused on work than people. You get personality where we say they're more focused on people than work. Mm -hmm. And then you get we get the combination of the blends. So if you be a leader where we say you day person where we say you're more stronger with work, you can drive and achieve results, but in the management of people know they're too strong. Then the important say you get person where we say wait day for senior position for your team, we sabi handle people. Or feel balanced the two because your eye why your eye go they see only one side of the work. This person go they bring your eyes, say, ah, mm. see the other mm. side this of this story. They no, nah, this side, yeah. this side, they better or check this important. place and mm. see whether I hear the problem, baby. Because if all of those things balance together, they work and the people. Now you go go say, will they achieve results? Will they grow and will they go forward? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, um, is there other things for inside this emotional intelligence way, or it gets as emotional intelligence fit help a leader uh, to make decisions generally for a place of work, you know? As yeah. a leader. Yeah, so if, if, if emotional intelligence will help you make a lot of um, decisions. One, one of the things where you know leaders, where they emotional intelligence say that they make balanced decisions. Mm. They need to be biased. Balanced, baby, say it. That is a decision they want yes. side. Yes. Mm. If they consider productivity, empowerment, mm. people development, 
and all that. So they did, whenever you see bleed away the emotional intelligence in decision making, you know, say their perspective, they did, they, they consider the implication of their decision across every area. Mm. Secondly, you know, go think, say, now you sabi everything if you do emotional intelligence. So you go seek imp imp imputes. Mm. And you know, they get leaders, you know, they like to get people to advise. If you tell them, say, no, 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 don't tell me that, don't you tell know, me they, that. They feel, mm. say, their position, the way they go express power is to be the only one that has the say and not get impute from other people. So in decision mm. making, person with them, and the thing, good thing about it, you say, you, you feel sift. You know, say, person, people feel they tell you something and the motive behind waiting that they tell you, get, here is where they drive waiting that they tell you. Mm. But when you do emotional intelligence, you feel tell whether this thing they come from, interest of everybody, selfish interest, interest. Mm. do you understand, or agenda. Mm. It helps you sift in between the conversations to narrow down to what really is the real issue here or what really what is driving the feedback you're getting in decision making hmm. and then it balances people and results people and results people and results you're growing the organization but you're also growing the people alongside the organization hmm. so as a leader now how you go fit you say um just as you did talk now with what you just mentioned how are fit you make sure say i balance between empathy and say i the feel i understand the person pain and say i won't make sure say I do the right thing. I I did firm. I did assertive. I know my rights as a leader, mm -hmm. and then say I get pity too mm. and empathy for people. How person feel balance and because this kind of thing they make what they call some kind of leaders. That, that person now which oh God don't they come oh you know people go just they worried or ah somebody they see oh uh, person won't take permission. The other go say no nobody they go holiday for inside this office so no matter what it happen mm. all of them are good day. That one come be like say you know be human mm. being. He be one kind or guy we they like next to devil. You you know, so how person feel balance, understanding again, say human beings and do too much. Person feeling the sicker, sha, mm. just can't like say the sick, just mm. because say you get another run, so you want to, mm. you don't want to come back. Mm. So as a leader now, how people feel use balance that say I go feel sympathy for person, but I suppose also they firm and make you understand, say I I know my rights and my mm. job mm. as as a leader. So as a leader, you you know go sacrifice the general interest of the organization for one person. Hmm. So you must always have that, and that is true leadership. It's the general interest, even for yourself, the general interest of the organization. So for example, people need to work late, or usually late, because you get one contract where they push you. And that contract will bring another money where we, and maybe for the past three months, we don't they struggle to pay salary. Mm. And people, they say, ah, we did tired, we know they tired. Now, if I, mean, if I won't communicate why they need to do that work, I don't could just say, ah, make una they work. I could tell them and say, see, you know to say we never get, we never pay you for the past three months. If we do this job, now see what thing will come in, see the benefits of this thing, both to them and to the organization. Mm. So you, you're trying to find so a way to get know. the people motivated to commit to that commitment, showing them the general interest of them. Now, if person now decide to sabotage in work at the expense of the organization and the team, in as much as where you say you consider waiting they go on, you must still get the person to align because you, if, if, you, if we crash the whole system, even that person will go down. Hmm. So if that person sabotage, so the work on Kukuma for Yakata for grant, the person everybody. said go go down. Even now. me and you said go go down. So you must always strike that balance between the general interest and then the impact on the person. So if the person say, for example, now if I did deal with that kind of thing, I don't just talk to you about saying I'm my work. Oh. I go look at them for the perspective of say, even you for your own life where you they go, this thing where you they do, fear affects you. Mm. It can become a problem for you tomorrow. And when people can see how, because they say, an organization that is effective is one where you can tie the individual's motivation or goals with the organizational goal. So any organization where they work at Jad now, the one where BC then go tie, um, within the human being them, they are go where they won't go for life mm -hmm. and where the company won't go for life if all of them they go the same place you don't have you don't get it motivation mm. is there you have a perfect team and then people are willing to come in because they know say they they get stake mm. because Inside. they get in so that means yes. interest first of yes. all yes and that's mm. take feel the experience that's okay, the just work get life experience. balance mm. if you be, the, the people have different reasons why they do the, what they do so a leader that is emotional will first of all also try to engage to understand why people do what they do why so you even in the interview process, why would you want to work with us? When they ask you questions like what would you want to do in the next five years? We are trying to see whether what you want to do in the first five years is aligned with where we, we are we going to go. Mm. So do you connect? If not, if it doesn't align, you could be here six months and once you see another opportunity, you don't you're work out the door. Mm. 
Mm. And then the company will come start afresh, afresh. again to come begin. And you mm. know, say once you don't put something inside people, to reproduce them is a lot of work. Hey, that one they pay no. No, tell me about it without telling me about it. That thing they pay well, well, low because the most painful thing where organizations they go through and I say, you don't train person fresh brain, put something for your head, finish, then the person can't leave you go another company. Mm -hmm. And then the next set of people again begin training again. Mm -hmm. So how people feel you manage that kind of situation? Self? So first of all, is the communication, mutual understanding. So it's, sometimes we might not, you, there's no, there's a time where you might, you can, you always have to have people leave you. So one, the first thing is one, create a system where they call it succession planning, where as person they learn something, making not be only one person sabi do. There are person start what they call key man risk, where people will say that their role for the organization is so important. If they work out come out, wahala don't they? Yes, yeah, so it people like that. So, so it, it, it they not go leave, sir. Yeah. It is important to say you know go just leave that person. You go come up with something, we say that person go feed that they mentor somebody for that work. They cascade that thing down, or you get a group of ways to be done. So there's some problems they rotate role and responsibility so that people don't go leave. Another thing again, we say communication. Communication, listen to people. So, for example, you get one of some organization where we say, the person say, I, I want travel, go abroad, go do my master's. That's why I want to resign. If, the, if I look, say, say this work where I won't give you to do, and I work with you if you do at home as a remote job. I can still allow you to continue that job mm. for a period of time. Uh, so it's a fee jackpot, but the fee they go do the school, yes. but they do the work. They no also worry. ask people why, how long do you want to stay? What do you want to do? So those, be open, have those conversations with people. Mm. Have their you know, say sometimes they will finish telling you all those things and still do their mind, uh, their mind mm. and go. Do you understand? So we have to be open for that. But the best, at most at which you can, try as much as possible. And so create a system where you can create room for more people to begin to learn that. Or, the some they call a standard operating procedure where you document every step of a junk from a job function mm. on paper. So anybody will come in next from that person, if you pick up that procedure and begin learn and how begin to know do how to do the work because it is captured. Mm. Mm. So you just like the thing they run on auto, auto yes. pilots by itself. So, so you know sure. get to go through that pain of mm. training new people again mm. every time because something they wouldn't feel learned mm. from automatically. And it's you know there are key things that are peculiar to your organization. So you capture it. So when a new person comes and then they call it some of them will say you don't write all the things where you don't achieve, how you take achieve them, you document. One person only needs to take up that document, read through it, and they can pick up from where you stopped. Hmm. After you've hmm. All right. So, you know, so we don't need to look, focus on workplace, workplace, workplace. But mm -hmm. I want to know now whether emotional intelligence will fit carry and reach house Everywhere. where we did. And then whether it's important to even teach children emotional intelligence because I don't even know whether it's important to teach mm -hmm. them. And I would like to hear from you. But when I say we don't reach time for a break, that one will be after this break when people will show back. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Good Morning Niger Show Extra. Now, you day and we the yan with Madam Happiness AZ, we be growth coach, and she done the yan us plenty thing about emotional intelligence. The good thing we say, we don't focus on emotional intelligence as you get to consign individual human being the way they're on their own, they talk, uh, they do their thing. We don't also, you know, also talk to us about emotional intelligence as you get to do with where people day for work and especially for guard them for work. But make we even look this emotional intelligence uh, as you get to do with family. But before we carry and reach family, um, the Work as them on their own. They also get role to play to also study better emotional intelligence because yes, since so. we uh, focus on leadership positions, yes, so the so. workers in which role they get to play concerning so emotional it, intelligence. It, 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 they're important because one, the organization they operate as silo. Every department they com combine to contribute to the success. So mm. working with each other as a team, they very very important. Mm. In fact, it, it, most these days in organizations, they will tell you say, you can you, um, you can train for skill, but you hire for character. So the person's ability to work with other people is so important in recruiting. So you, you know, you see someone who is very good, very competent, but you know, it never, it's not the data you say this person will be team player. You don't get character. Ew. You know, be team player. Now, mm. you know, they find only your own area, your own domain, they, they protect. You know, they look beyond the own decks, look ah. another person. Ah, and that side. person will be an employable person. No, be an employable person. Because the team is say, we say, if he sacrifices the interests of the general organization for his own personal so. benefit, then you know, we know how to work with people and manage people. So they know the person, you know, I know they don't say something where we say they, when you when you remember them as you they come work, you say, huh? 
God, we'll make my part and this person pass. And for, where, for, <laughs> for where I did right now, they experience that kind of thing. You know, I'm not going to even talk for national TV, but uh, after camera, we'll go talk about them. So, but we seen those kind of people then stand to gain. Like, say, they make them feel more important or we seen, I don't understand. So, it depends, you know, for we seen, like we say, emotions, they influence your action. But we seen, you get all that things where they influence your emotions, on your thoughts and your environment. So, people, there are different backgrounds and their experiences in life. They influence their emotions and their actions and the behaviors within they get today. Sometimes, some of those people they do not even they are aware. Say what they they do, they wrong on others. You know, say emotional intelligence. They say you don't understand yourself. You don't understand what you they do, but you also don't understand. Say this thing they impact negatively or positively <coughs> on other people. So sometimes the intention will be say they, 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 they may not even have the intention of hurting other people because they're not even aware. But they, the way they have gone through life and they have been programmed with life has made them develop behavioral traits that are destructive. So for some of them, so they need to get to a point of self-awareness, coming to the awareness that, see, oh, this thing, no, I get them. So you know good. Other people, know, some people don't even understand, say people, they cry. You know, they talk to they shout for a person, person, they cry. So why do they cry? Why, why, is she, why is she crying? Why should she feel bad? What is wrong? I just made, I just said my mind. But you know, it's not about saying your mind. It is how you say your mind. Mm. Because people will not listen to how you want your mind. They will listen to how you say. So emotional intelligence is not just about doing that, but how you do it and how it impacts on other people. So if you start to develop, um, you still going to understand, say, the things, where, as you they make decisions, you're putting it into perspective of other people. And then you're intentional about it. It produces intentionality. Because remember, I say awareness don't produce regulation. Hmm. I don't become intentional. So I'm not going to just show up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm intentional about how I show up. Hmm. Understanding that it's making an impact is creating a perception about me. And you know they're in control of what people they think about you. And if people don't, they give you feedback. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't give you the same feedback about yourself. No talk say they don't like me. Hmm. They don't want me. Sit hmm. down, think. It'd be like, say, get waiting like they do or something where they do it. <coughs> where they project me in a way where I don't want to be projected. Remember I said intentionality, meaning that this is how I want people to see me. But because I'm not intentional, I'm projecting myself in a way that people are seeing me totally different from how I want them to see me. So if I now want to change that, I have to now understand myself and then become intentional in projecting in such a way that I want to achieve the exact perception I want people to have about me. <coughs> hmm, 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 hmm. So, Everybody now just need this. Both everybody. the worker, the employer, employer and the employee. Everybody. So Moku drive and down rich house now. Waiting make uh, how we take how emotional intelligence they use apply uh, for our homes then. Will be the smallest unit of a society. Okay. So Will be the beginning place where we're supposed to start to learn character. Okay. So um, emotional intelligence, you know, home like you said, home is the lowest place of society. Whatever people exhibit outside is a product of what they've experienced mm. in the home. Front. So if person knows a big grit for outside. You need a grit from house. If person get bad character now for, for house outside, he now for house, he learn them. Okay. Somebody not tell him, say he get bad character. Hmm. So as a parent, now one of the things you see about parenting is that, especially in the Nigerian context, is that a lot of times parents react to children's behavior rather than respond. Mm. So the child verse, you just shout, cha, 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 cha. Don't, why would you do that? Stupid, idiot. You see all those things. Eh, you don't talk, but what do you talk? What the child don't learn? Even the child mm. don't get confused. You don't even know what he do. You, you hey. just, you know, you don't even teach them anything. African mothers, so <laughs> you don't break our table, oh. African mothers, so. I say, you know, even the intention. Use less picking. <laughs> I don't want to talk the rest of TV. Go come out to the picking for there. You know? Eh? And so they make so you that means that's in it, they teach picking anything. It's nothing, because in parenting, emotional they make you the intentional. What do you want to achieve with this conversation? What you want to achieve now? Mm. You and your spouse, they get differences. You won't talk so that when I go shout, quarrel up, you won't talk, make when I get results. I won't talk to be heard. <laughs> and I saw some people, they talk. What do you want that being heard to produce? Mm. So first of all, you also understand yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, how it's impacting in your house. Then also understand other people. So you will study your spouse. So if I want to, if I want to teach my child this thing, I have to understand my child's personality. Children, they're different. Some people are outgoing. Some people are introverted. Some people learn with words. Some people learn with visuals. Some people learn, some people take criticism as negative perception about me. Some people are very good with criticism. In fact, if you talk that they will laugh over it and move on. And so with that dynamics, you're able to say, okay, I want to first of all be, this is what I want to be able to achieve in my home. Do you want a peaceful or a serene home? So an emotional intelligent person will say, first of all, 
What is it going to require to create them? Secondly, with how me, I go take contribute mm. to get that thing to happen for my home. And then this period is a very challenging time in Nigeria. Oh. And it calls for resilience. It calls for, you know, a lot of people have collapsed under the pressure that has come with so the time. So that means people suppose stay, stay put. Yeah. So to stay put, they be say, first of all, we say, you first of all, understand how challenges they impact on you. What be your mindset when it comes to challenges? When some people will say, when challenges happen to them, they could just give up, pack up. So when challenges come, they go start to they throw blame, they throw tantrums. They, some people, they channel the anger of the testing on other people. So if some families are aware, they go, they channel, do, um, what's the word now, and uh, transfer the aggression. Hmm. They will carry pain, we want in, we, pain, uh, the anger, we want in, cost them. Cost them. Carrying, carrying, carrying attack, attack, another attack, attack another person. They attack for house. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm But with emotional intelligence now, you say, okay, something not they happen, no. it's more challenging. Okay, what can I do? How do I respond to challenges? For some people, they will say, some people see challenges as opportunities. What is the mindset I need to start having now? How do I change my perspective in such a way that I can now channel this thing to my advantage? Is there a way out? You get one um, slogan, what would they use for emotional intelligence? They say, options are always available. Hmm. So rather than worry, anxiety, anger, aggression, you sit down and reflect hmm. what is hmm. happening. Hmm. So you think you process the matter. What happen to what think happen? How can we manage it? Yeah, but you know, say we defend first of all, they're very reactive. Mm -hmm. Nadine, That's what I it, say. It, it, nothing said that in an impulse. Okay, so there's something we call... You feel saying an impulse, an like impulse. just a drum. Mm. Yes, so is, you know, there's something we call, you know, being able to pause. Mm. Anybody, that's impulse, anybody that is emotional intelligence must know how to slow down and process before they move. And so that ability to, first of all, Pause. For example, now you want rick, 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 rick. Just take six seconds or ten seconds and just pause. Maybe sing one, sing one song or think through other things and all that. So distract yourself so from, distract that from that situation. That situation. You will because it's an emotion. And it's, being, it's what we call, it's being influenced by your amygdala. That's going to be biological, and I don't want to go into all that. So mm -hmm. that thing has a short circuit. If you allow it, it can explode. But if you control it, it can. Mm. But now this kind of thing now we say you must now understand yourself, understand your triggers. Someone like me now, I don't really like say if I come house now, everywhere they scattered. So if you come house now, they're excited for gates, they come from estate gate, they come inside. I open my door, everywhere is scattered. Who did this? So um, I came in with a positive emotion, but I'm expressing something negative because I've experienced a trigger. Mm -hmm. If I know they are aware, I'm not gonna say that's in a trigger. So now where I don't be say I don't know say in a trigger, I'd go to announce and say, please, oh. Arrange. So I, I find maybe 30 minutes before they come. When I don't arrange that place, <laughs> I beg, arrange them. Maybe if I don't remember talk, I enter house. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Nah, I don't face mm. this reality now. Nah, mm. mm. Oh, yeah. You pick up that. You pick up that one. You do this one. By the time they don't do them, finish. I go come sit down. Mm. Because you go, maybe you don't plan all the good things you want to do with your children. But that situation, don't spoil everything. everything. So I said, okay, no go spoiler, no go spoiler, no go spoiler. Mm. Now, now, because I don't dare away, now that's that not a trigger. So you must, first way, you must know your triggers. Don't be every time they vex this person, go feel vex another person. Mm. So, so make could look at, before our time go, mm -hmm. make could look at and say, I, 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 it affects children mm -hmm. now. Uh, what do you make, first of all, it important we could teach children emotional intelligence, if it is important at all? Okay, because it's it, it important to teach them because, uh, especially in this time, we we'll get a lot of anxiety, mm. depression, suicidal thoughts, and then peer pressure as well you know if you don't teach them emotional intelligence they will not be able to navigate circumstances and challenges of life mm, they don't go feel move around mm -hmm. life People if they need one small obstacle for life they say not scatter them don't scatter mm. them so you must let them understand that like you say you know it doesn't matter what happens around you people will be people think, but it is how you choose to respond it is your response that determines your outcome, not what people do to you. How, how early person you start to teach children as emotional intelligence? As, as young as a year, as long as once they can start talking. So if your child starts throwing tantrums, why are you throwing tantrums? Because I won't even ask you how to deal with picking where they throw tantrums. Mm -hmm. You mean like say just come out for my <laughs> for my mouth? Because picking where they like this, they vex or not in the scatter things. They say I no go agree, I no go agree. What thing they do you now? You carry even a baby with a carry for hand. You carry a problem. You sit and down problem. You drop him for bed. You buy a toy. You buy him ice cream. You buy him everything. Still they cry. How person won't use deal with that kind of matter? So when you won't deal with that kind of thing, you go sit down with the child to talk, and you go come down to the child level. Now, like I said, remember I said, first of all, they're not good, they're biased. Because 
that incident now an opportunity for you to discover your child and know what influences your child's behavior. So you ask the child questions. So why did you throw tantrums? I am upset. Why are you upset? I asked Junior for his ball and he refused to give you. Okay. What is wrong with Junior not giving you his ball? I'm his brother, he should always give me. Okay, what if Junior wants to use his ball? Hmm. Yes, but I know he should give me. He said, no, people, you now start teaching him. Hmm. So, so Junior get the right not to give yeah. her more. So mm. so you know, even though, yes, you want it, it's Junior's ball. He has the right to decide whether he wants to give you or not. Now, your responsibility is to know how to deal with it or influence him to give you. And if you try and he doesn't give you, you, you become patient and learn to accept that he has the right to give. So you're not teaching the child how to deal with people, how to deal with situations, and how to navigate life. Ah, madam, I feel like I still go back break here because if I follow <laughs> you like this, eh, this matter, we go talk and from today, to, from now to night, come, we'll go finish up. Hi. Okay, so what's in me one take home in one sentence, one take home, you go tell people now where they watch you as it concerns how to manage their emotional intelligence. Okay, so uh, what I would say is um, use your emotions as data. That emotion where they feel now, where you feel first understand yourself. When you feel somewhere about something, not true where. Ask yourself why you they feel like that. And ask yourself how you go fit navigate that thing where you they feel such in such a way where we say it no go work against you, it go work for you. Hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, plenty, plenty. That's now Madam Happiness. Uh, Daniel Aze, she don't follow stock. Use your emotional as data. The banker. The banker make you understand. Ah! Okay, my Kuba break here, my dear people. Thank you for uh, for people don't join and put it together to uh, make sure say the show move forward. In fact, we need to buy any break. We we'll close shop today for inside the show. I appreciate on our way as an join and body to make the show for, uh, move forward. And you, when they watch us, I appreciate on our way. You know, so I love you, where will I be? I love you plenty, plenty. Whatever happen, eh? Learn to manage your emotional intelligence so that you feel they protect your mental health. Because eh, voila, you need to finish. We will see mm. you next time. My name is Precious. Eh? Bye bye.